Hello Reds fans, welcome back to the latest news and updates on Liverpool transfers this Monday. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel to always stay connected with us and not miss any Reds news. Liverpool have yet to sign any players this summer, but there is a crucial reason behind the club's slow commercial moves. According to the BBC, the club's hierarchy are concerned about a disrupting Klopp's a well-rounded group A ahead of Arnslot's first season in charge. A recent report said, Erid is said within the club that they are being careful not to disrupt the well-rounded group that Klopp has built and the caliber of players required is so high that there are only a handful of options in world football who would improve the squad, this may be why the Reds have yet to sign any players this summer. Liverpool are eyeing 20-year-old Argentine left-back Julio Soler as a long-term replacement for Andy Robertson. The youngster is currently participating in the 2024 Olympics with Argentina and the Reds are keeping a close eye on his progress, while contact has been made with his home club Lainus. According to Argentine journalist German Garcia Grova, Lainus are seeking around $15 million £12 million for their young player, which could be a huge and very smart investment. Manchester United have reportedly entered the race to sign potential Liverpool target Joey Veerman. The Dutch midfielder impressed for his nation at Euro 2024 this summer after a brilliant campaign with PSV Eindhoven, helping them win the Eredivisie title, with a number of clubs taking note of his performances. Liverpool have been linked as one of them in recent weeks, but according to journalist Duncan Castles, Liverpool could now face competition from their biggest rivals Manchester United for his signature. Liverpool are said to still be in the running for former Juventus midfielder Adrian Rabiot this summer. Recent conflicting reports claimed the Reds were out of the running for the France international, but recent updates from caught offside claim otherwise. According to the report, Liverpool, along with Manchester United and Arsenal, remain in the running for Rabiot, with further discussions between all parties expected to take place next week. After weeks of speculation linking Liverpool with a move for Crystal Palace defender Mark Gahey, the Reds are now said to be preparing an official bid. Recent reports suggested that Arne Slot's side were no longer interested in making a move, but according to The Sun, the opposite is now the case. The report claims that Liverpool are ready to enter the race for the England star, with new cop boss Arne Slot keen to rival Newcastle for the defender. Marseille are reportedly unlikely to make a second bid for Liverpool midfielder Wataru Endo. The League One side had a £15.1 million, pound 11.8m slash Euro 13.9m, offer rejected by the Reds for the Japan International last month, and French football expert Jonathan Johnson believes that will be the end of the club's interest this summer. I think it was in Marseille's interest earlier in the summer and they probably won't revisit that now, a Johnson told Sky Sports. He added, yeah I think Marseille's rebuild will definitely attract Premier League talent, but I'm not sure they'll come back with a bid for Endo. Liverpool midfielder Tyler Morton has impressed for the Reds in pre-season, but the youngster could be on the verge of a move again, according to recent reports. The 21-year-old spent last season on loan at second-tier Hull City, having previously spent a season at Blackburn Rovers, but he could now be on the move once again, this time to Germany. According to the Daily Mail, Morton is attracting massive interest from across the continent, with RB Leipzig seen as favourites to sign him. Liverpool defender Joe Gomez has been linked with a move away from Anfield this summer, following recent reports that the 27-year-old would be included in a deal to sign Anthony Gordon. However, the England international returned to the AXA training centre on Sunday as part of Liverpool's contingent for Euro 2024 and the Copa America and is a focused on emerging as a key player under new manager Arne Slot. That's according to The Times, which claims Gomez a remains committed to Liverpool e4 next season. Bournemouth striker Dominic Solank is being linked with a move to Tottenham this summer, but any potential sale is being complicated by his £83 million pound 65m slash Euro 76m release clause. When the former Liverpool forward joined the Cherries, the Reds inserted a sell-on fee into his contract, along with certain criteria that must be met for any future sale. According to the Mirror, a significant factor complicating any potential move for Salank is that his release clause uh, reportedly can only be triggered by certain clubs eh, which presents a major obstacle for Spurs and other interested parties. Dominic Sobosly was a notable absence from Liverpool's squad for their final game in the US against Manchester United, and fans have been told there is nothing to worry about. Sobosly has clocked up 135 minutes of action across the first two stops of the US tour, with his efforts in training sessions standing out. The number 8 was expected to feature again against United in the early hours of Sunday morning for those in the UK, but he was left out of the 22-man squad. Arne Slot explained ahead of the match, it Dominic has been in every session and every game. I think it's a bit of fatigue and we don't want to take any risks because we fly back to Liverpool tonight. E on Tuesday all the other players arrive as well, so we want to start with all the players available and we didn't want to take any risks with him today. With the start of the new season less than 13 days away, Liverpool are taking no chances with the midfielder's fitness, opting for a cautious approach. The team will return to Merseyside after the United clash, 
where the remaining senior players will reconnect with them before preparing for the final two friendlies. Arnslot's side hosts Sevilla in front of a packed Anfield on Sunday August 11, and just a few hours later, fellow La Liga side Las Palmas will face the Reds. Liverpool will need all the depth in their squad and Sobislai is expected to be involved, having only been rested for the third and final stop in the USA. Sobislai was Liverpool's seventh most minuted player last season for club and country combined, with 3,841 minutes in 58 appearances. Against United, he was replaced in the starting lineup by Ryan Gravenberch after he returned to training earlier in the week. Curtis Jones is determined to make goals a regular part of his Liverpool contribution, just as he did against Manchester United. The number 17 scored the second goal in the Reds' 3-0 win over their rivals in South Carolina on Saturday night as the team's pre-season tour of the USA came to a close in style. Breaking into the box, Jones was the beneficiary of a superb run from Mohamed Salah, who crossed for his teammate to finish from distance, I've always said I want to be a lad who scores goals, provides assists and helps the team, and he told LiverpoolFC.com after the final whistle at williams Bryce Stadium. He I just took it upon myself. I thought in the first 20 minutes they were coming to put us under a lot of pressure, so I was trying to get the ball more. But as the game went on and they got a bit tired, I saw the spaces opening up more, so I thought if I could get into the box more I could score a goal, and that's what I did. Looking further into that moment and the quality of Sulla's assist, the midfielder continued, that's what he's great at and he reads the game as well. Yeah I was looking for the goal and I know Mo likes to get assists too, he's fantastic at getting his head up and he gave me the win. Uh, that's part of my game, scoring goals. I feel like I can improve and get into the box more, I can score more goals. I can play deep and I can play high. Football has changed now because it's all about stats with goals and assists. I've got to try and improve my game and I think a big part of that is scoring goals, getting more assists and getting involved as much as I can. We've got lads who have come on the scene and made a name for themselves by scoring goals. I think it's a big part of the game. And if you can keep yourself in the game by scoring goals and the manager sees you as a guy who can do that and affect the game, then you keep your shirt, so that's what I'm going to try and do. The red stint in the US spanned 12 days, including regular intense training sessions and three friendly games, all of which they won. A 1-0 win over Real Betis in Pittsburgh and a 2-1 success against Arsenal in Philadelphia preceded the three goals and clean sheet against United. On whether it was a successful trip, Jones said, E 100% yes. It's important that we can come here for a tough camp, we train every day, it's been tough and hot as well, but we're all fit and we've got the lads coming back as well, so it's been a happy few days. On a personal level, Jones recovered quickly from a precautionary withdrawal during the Batiste match and has featured in each of the following two matches. He played just under 60 minutes in the United game and explained that he is feeling in good condition as the start of the Premier League season approaches. Yeah, I'm trying to improve all the time. I feel like I'm in a good place, eh, he said. Yeah, I had a little problem with my ankle and knee and that's why I came off early in the Real Batiste game. But in terms of fitness, I could have played the whole game, yes, but I took a knock on my back and the head coach just said to me, we've taken you off more as a precaution and we don't need to risk anything. If you're asking yourself, am I fit? Then 100% I'm ready for the start of the season. Comment below, in your opinion, what signing should Liverpool make to add more quality to the current team? Leave your like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news from the Reds.